There you are. So a little backstory. We got done with HTC E3 and uh, got back home and I got really, really sick. I had a respiratory flu that hit me hard. My son had had it in the house and uh, he's college, college age and stayed home and I got really sick from him. Um, it was pretty crazy. So if you've never been to Michigan in the fall time, it's absolutely gorgeous. We have beautiful, beautiful colors. The UP is phenomenal. Right now we heard the UP is dropping leaves like crazy. It's a bit past peak. Um, it's taken us a couple weekends to get out. We've had some, some things we've had to take care of on the past couple weekends. So finally got a free weekend. It's looking like 50% chance of rain. So we'll see. But if you know Michigan, Michigan's weather changes like that. So we are going to just start heading north. Um, we grabbed a campground way up near the bridge and we're gonna explore that area. Hopefully we hit the tunnel of trees. So we'll see what we can come across in this episode of MWD Adventures. We'll take you along. Well, we just stopped after about a two and a half hour drive to campground, Hardwick Pines. Um, it's a state park and has a nice day use area. The rest stop we were gonna stop at was closed. So this Hardwick Pines was just down the road. Never been to this state park, always kind of poo-pooed it, but looks really nice. Got a chance to talk to a DNR officer and uh, he says it's a nice, quiet, campground and the one thing that they don't have is the whole beach lake kids type thing and uh, he says it's a very quiet campground because of that so yeah deep back in the woods a lot of pines hence the name Hardwick Pines so anyway we're just stopping here for a quick bite to eat get back on the road Unfortunately, the clouds are rolling in and it looks like some rain might be coming our way, but we're going to make the most of it. Um, we're seeing some pretty colors at this point. At first we were a little bit leery that we weren't going to find them, but they have found us or we have found them, whichever way you want to look at it. And we are going to make the best of this weekend and have some fun. show you around our lot so we decided to take the gazebo along so we could put the picnic table in knowing we had a pretty good shot at rain we, we took and deployed two of the walls um, chose not to do the third you can see you got the 
new Darchy wall with a PVC window, which is awesome. It's given us plenty of natural light in there. So we get a little bit more brightness in there. I have to have so many lights on. This one over here, we got deployed down, the cover down, so that we can have a little privacy. But walls are working out really well. It's an awesome thing about this Darchy wall system. And then left the first wall off just so we have some visibility. You can see in the front part of camp. And it's just a light pitter pat rain right now. Not that big of rain. Um, then over here is a gazelle. This is the largest one. We throw a buddy heater in it. Buddy heater is going to keep this space plenty warm. And we have all the walls deployed. So we've got plenty of rain protection. This gives us eating space place to play cards hang out all that kind of stuff so really handy and just deploy one of the claymore lights inside works well let's see what Wendy's up to so what you up to reading my book reading her book listen to the pitter pat of the rain mm -hmm. Yeah, kind of nice. This light is perfect. Yeah, it's the hardcore light. Yeah, gives me just the right amount of light here. Yep. So yeah. So we're here at Burt Lake State Park and we're at the beach area. We got a decent sized beach. Burt Lake behind us, pretty decent size. We got this nice pavilion behind us, park store, all that. One thing we noticed when we got up here, it is rustic. They have blown out the lines for the year and there's no water, nothing. They got a pump and they got a pitch on, which is fine for us. They still power, but um, the amenities for the bathrooms are all shut down for the season. Hi. So you're happy we're here? Yes. Good. We got to be by some water. I got my water therapy, hearing the water lapping up on the, the shore, smelling the wonderful fall smells. <sighs> the sounds of sirens in the background. <laughs> that means you're not feeling like you're away from work. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, it's hard to believe it's 7.30 at night and it is dark out. I used to fall camping where you can see your breath. And it's only 7.30 at night. It's time for dinner. We had a late lunch, so time to make something. Let's see what Wendy's up to. So what's for dinner tonight? We are having marinated mushroom caps, mini potatoes with some sautéed onions. Oh my goodness, this looks wonderful. Mmm, smell great too. Mm. New favorite light for camping or for cooking is this Claymore. It's got the angle bracket with a magnet on it. This thing has a massive battery in it. We'll post it down the link in the description. Stick it on. Aim it where you want it. Works really well. Oh my goodness, those things smell so good. Having a little bit of supper. We'll play a little bit of cards. Mm -hmm. Got the little heater going. Keeps us toasty warm in here. And it's amazing how much it warms up the environment here with everything going on. So one, two, <laughs> they're going to acorn. 20, oh, so 22. 22. I'm staying. 
What? <laughs> the pressure's on. <laughs> so I beat you three games of Pass of the Pigs, and now you beat me in your first round of Skip Boo, and I didn't even get to lay a card. I beat you bad. Yeah, that's not even fair. Off of M119 at a nature center. Nature preserve. Nature preserve that we just came across. So mm -hmm. there's a nice little half mile walk down to the beach around the actual beach trail, which is all boardwalk through cedars. And then it's going to come out to Lake Michigan. So we'll check that out and check out the uh, nature center when we get back. It's illegal, you just picked a flower. Don't call me in. Some big pumpkins, so where are we at? Pond Hill Farms, I think is what it is. When we walked up, there was a pond, and there was a hill above it, which appropriately is for the name. But oh. look at these pumpkins. Yeah, massive. That is huge. So it looks like they got a festival going on today. Yep. And they've got vineyards out in the distance here. They got vineyards on the far end. We came in and got some kind of festival going on, so we thought we'd come and check it out. Look at one and smell it or something. Yep. It was a video, so. Oh. <laughs> you don't have any smells. What? These ones don't have any smells. Oh. I knew that. <laughs> I, did, I didn't know that. <laughs> I'm only doing it for you. Oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> but I like these reds and oranges together. Yes, very pretty. Look, like these ones are more pointed, and these ones are more of a rounded metal. Quick lunch on the road, a little chicken salad in the truck. Super stinking windy out. Mm -hmm. I'll show you our view here in a second, but uh, why did we do 
Oh, this one, easy. Oh, sorry. I forget. Not very polite here, I'll cut you out of the photo. <laughs> yeah, super stinking windy here. We're on the, we got done with a tunnel of trees. We're heading north towards Wilderness State Park. And uh, there's a scenic drive that runs along there. We got a pretty epic view right now. Oh, uh, camera's gonna wash it out. I'll show you the view in a second. We still haven't found a good place for apples and cider. So we're headed down 31 and guess what? We found Appletown Cider. So we got ourselves a half gallon of apple cider they said was freshly squeezed this morning. And then some donuts. So I decided to get a dozen of them. Caleb, maybe there'll be some left for you when we get home. <laughs> maybe yeah yeah we visited this place last year a year ago we visited this place it was pretty cool it's right on 31 how are the donuts delicious delicious so we're kind of wrapping up our little color tour here this afternoon so we thought well one thing that's a taste of fall is a cider donut and some cider We stopped at Killian's. Killwins. Kill Killwins. Killwins. So we stopped at Killwins in so, Petoskey. So after dinner, we asked for a dessert menu, and she said that they didn't have one, and jokingly said, "Well, you could go to Killwins." So we decided to go into town and see what we could find, and guess where we ended up? Killwins. So you gotta have some Traverse City cherry while you're here. Then we got some peanut butter fudge. What's in the bag? Some peanut butter fudge, a couple turtles, some Buckeyes. Raspberry truffles, you know, more little, than we would have eaten for dessert. That's a little for sure. bit of everything. It's amazing the whole factory is right here behind us. I'll give you an idea of how everything's made. Yep. So they and actually do tours, but they're not doing them right now. No, no tours. <laughs> then across the way is the giant $400 chocolate bars. Pretty cool. So as our trip came to an end, we noticed a beautiful glow in the sky. So we decided to chase it and see what we would find. And we were wowed with what we saw. The sky was just gorgeous. Pinks, oranges, reds. So we did not see as much color in the trees as what we were hoping, but we definitely saw it in the sky tonight. Great way to end our weekend away and spend some time together. And really that's what it is all about. So hopefully you can get out and do some camping with your family soon. Until next time, get out and do some camping.